this tutorial is very similar to the last one. We are doing a selection menu where we can actually click on this pillow and the component visual menu appears. We can select different materials for this mesh. And it's quite similar to the plant one, except for we are not uh, changing the mesh, but only the textures. But in this case, let's create a new blueprint. We can do it in the um, actual actor in the scene, like we did for the plants. But for this one, let's create a new blueprint. and open it up. So let's select this pillow here and add it to our scene. And in this case, we are only changing the materials. So there's no need to set this to movable. We can set it to static and this way we will get some nice um, light maps later on. And let's add our component highlight. Set it again to our mesh. And we would need our selection menu. So our component select with the type selection menu. Let's add our visual exchange here. And also add our visual exchange in here. And that's everything we need in order to get started. Let's select the first material and actually assign it to the mesh here. And we will also use this as our first material in here. So let's say we will start with white and we set the key here to white and define the material. This time I don't have any pictures. We can go in there and take pictures of the mesh with the different materials like we did for the plants. But in this case, I just want to use the same material on the button. So I assign it to the button material. I open up the mesh info again. We need a key. So let's add one to the actual mesh. This is our pillow. And let's put the name in there. Open this up. And we don't want to change the mesh here. So we open up the materials and we want to use the same material for this one. So let's put it in here. And now we have defined our first um, possibility for for our exchange. Let's add a new one with the black one and let's find a new material that is looking good. So we can use this material as the second possibility and do the same again. We use it for the button material. We open the mesh info. We write our pillow in there, open this up and edit this material in here. You can see this really is a fast way if you are used to it. This really gets very fast and you can achieve a lot of um, different materials in a short amount of time. So let's add a third one. And have a look what is looking good. There are, let me see, I think this one here could work. Let's have a look. Yeah, that's fine. So we select it here, do the same thing again. So open this up, use it as the button material, open our mesh info, insert pillow in there, add a new material and select it. So let's try it out. I actually need to place the blueprint in the level so I can select this pillow here, select it here, right press and add replace selected actors. And now this is the actual pillow. And I can also change this one here. Ah, this was a different mesh, but that's fine. 
drop it right here. Also, I see that the couch will need a material. So let's select maybe something like this here. No, this is not this is not good. Let's try this one here. Yeah, that's better. And for this part, let's use the same wood and assign it here. So we have a basic material setup for the couch itself. And yeah, let's try it out. So once I hover over the pillows, you can see the highlighting is working. I press, I get the material exchange. And here I have my three different materials. It's very uh, bright right now. I need to rebuild the lighting, but let's try if it's working. And you can see everything works fine. So I'm going to add the same functionality for, for the sofa um, and for the floor. You can do it also for the walls or picture frames, everything you want. But I'm doing it for the couch here and for the floor. In the next tutorial, we are going to actually, what can we do? Yeah, let's let's tackle the TV in the next tutorial. So we can look on the TV and a video is appearing. We can toggle the play on and off. And also we need to modify the TV a little bit because this is not very good for, for the quest. So let's see you in the next tutorial.